Hello everyone, and welcome back to another fascinating video. Today, we're diving headfirst into the jaw-dropping story of the $2 billion UBS loss, where Kwaku Adobali's rogue trading scandal left the financial world reeling. Hold on to your wallets, folks, because this roller coaster of a tale has more twists and turns than a game of snakes and ladders. Kwaku Adobali, the man at the center of this financial tornado, was born in Ghana and raised in the UK. He joined UBS in 2003 and quickly climbed the ranks, eventually landing a position as a trader in the bank's global synthetic equities division. Little did anyone know that this bright-eyed and bushy-tailed trader would soon become the star of his very own financial thriller. But before we get to the juicy bits, let's set the stage by looking at the high-stakes world of investment banking where our protagonist cut his teeth. Part 2 the beginning of Adobe's rogue trading and his risky strategies. Now let's dive into the murky waters of Adobe's rogue trading and the risky strategies that led to his downfall. As a trader, Adobe was responsible for making bets on the market on behalf of UBS. However, he decided to push the envelope by engaging in unauthorized trades and concealing his losses, which only fueled his appetite for riskier bets. Talk about a financial daredevil. Adobe's secret trading weapon was something called Exchange Traded Funds, ETFs, as are like the chameleons of the financial world. They can mimic the performance of an entire market or index. Adobe used these financial shapeshifters to make huge unauthorized bets on the market, racking up massive losses in the process. But how did he manage to keep his bosses in the dark for so long? Well, our intrepid trader had a few tricks up his sleeve. Part 3. The unraveling of the rogue trading and Adobe's eventual confession. The unraveling of Adobe's rogue trading scandal began when UBS started to notice unusual trading activity in their books. As the bank's internal control systems flagged these discrepancies, the pressure started to mount on Adobe, who had been juggling this financial house of cards for quite some time. With each passing day, the cracks in his elaborate facade started to widen and the walls began closing in. In an attempt to maintain the illusion, Adobe tried to cover his tracks using falsified documents, fictitious trades, and complex accounting manipulations. But as the evidence against him continued to pile up, he was fighting a losing battle. The clock was ticking, and it was only a matter of time before the entire scheme came crashing down. Ironically, it wasn't a keen-eyed investigator or a suspicious colleague who eventually brought Adobe's rogue trading operation to light. Instead, it was Adobali himself crumbling under the immense weight of guilt and fear. As the stress of his secret life became too much to bear, Adobali made the fateful decision to come clean to his superiors. In a desperate and emotional email, he confessed to his rogue trading activities, admitting to having falsified records and exposing the bank to massive financial risks. The scale of his deception was staggering. He had single-handedly caused a loss of $2 billion, making it one of the largest unauthorized trading losses in history. Adobe's confession sent shockwaves throughout UBS and the global financial community. Not only had he jeopardized the bank's financial stability, but he had also shattered the trust of its clients and employees. His actions prompted widespread outrage and sparked intense debates about the need for tighter regulations, better oversight, and a more robust risk management culture within the banking industry. In the aftermath of the scandal, Adobe was arrested and charged with fraud and false accounting. He would eventually be sentenced to seven years in prison for his crimes. Meanwhile, UBS was left to pick up the pieces and rebuild its reputation as the bank grappled with the fallout from the rogue trading fiasco. Adobe's story serves as a cautionary tale of the destructive power of greed, ambition, and deceit. It highlights the importance of transparency personal responsibility, and accountability in our lives and businesses. As the tale of Kwaku Adobali's rogue trading scandal fades into history, we must remember the lessons it has taught us to prevent such a jaw-dropping story from happening again. Part 4. The fallout from the scandal, including the impact on UBS and the financial industry. The fallout from Adobali's rogue trading scandal was immense, sending shockwaves through not just UBS, but also the entire financial industry. In the immediate aftermath, UBS faced significant reputational damage and financial losses 
With the $2 billion loss causing its stock price to plummet, the bank's investors, clients and employees were left reeling, questioning the trust they had placed in the institution. As a direct consequence of the scandal, EBS's top management went through a major reshuffling. The CEO at the time, Oswald Grubel, resigned taking responsibility for the lapse in oversight that had allowed Adobe's unauthorized trading to go undetected for so long. Several other high-ranking executives were also forced to step down and the bank underwent a significant restructuring process. The impact of the scandal extended beyond UBS as it cast a harsh light on the inadequacies of the regulatory and risk management frameworks in the financial industry. Governments and regulatory authorities worldwide were prompted to scrutinize the sector more closely, tightening controls and implementing stricter regulations to prevent similar incidents from happening in the future. The need for a stronger risk management culture became a priority, with many financial institutions investing in improved internal controls employee training, and more transparent reporting mechanisms. The scandal also reignited the debate surrounding the culture of greed and excessive risk, taking that had long been associated with the financial industry. The public outcry following Adobe's actions intensified calls for a more ethical and responsible approach to banking, leading to greater emphasis on corporate governance and the implementation of ethical guidelines within the industry. Lastly, the Adobali scandal served as a stark reminder of the importance of personal accountability and integrity within the financial sector. It underscored the fact that the actions of a single individual could have far-reaching consequences, not just for their employer, but also for the broader economy and society as a whole. In response, many financial institutions started placing a greater emphasis on fostering a culture of ethical behavior and personal responsibility among their employees. In conclusion, the fallout from the $2 billion UBS loss caused by Quico Adobe's rogue trading scandal had far-reaching implications for the bank, the financial industry, and the way businesses approached risk management and corporate governance. The scandal triggered a series of changes and reforms that continue to shape the financial sector today serving as a stark reminder of the importance of transparency, accountability, and ethical conduct in the world of finance. Part 5. The Trial, Conviction, and Aftermath for Adobe and Lessons Learned As the dust settled, the legal battle began. Adobe was arrested and charged with fraud and false accounting. His trial was a media circus, with the world watching as he was ultimately found guilty and sentenced to seven years in prison. But Adobe's story doesn't end there. After serving his time, he was deported to Ghana, the country of his birth, despite having lived in the UK for most of his life. The financial prodigy turned, rogue trader now spends his days advocating for improved risk management and ethical practices in the financial industry. But what can we learn from this jaw-dropping tale of financial ruin and scandal? Let's break down three essential lessons that we can apply to other businesses, life, or other endeavors. Lesson 1. Transparency and proper oversight are critical in any organization. Adobe's ability to hide his rogue trades and losses for so long highlights the importance of having robust risk management and internal control systems in place. In life, being transparent and honest with ourselves and others can prevent issues from spiraling out of control. Lesson 2. Greed can be a destructive force and unchecked ambition can lead to disaster. Adobe's pursuit of ever higher returns and his willingness to take extreme risks ultimately led to his downfall. This serves as a cautionary tale for all of us to recognize the potential consequences of unchecked ambition and greed. Lesson 3. Finally, personal responsibility and accountability are vital. Adobe's story is a stark reminder that our actions have consequences and we must be willing to face the repercussions of our choices. Whether in business or our personal lives, taking responsibility for our actions and learning from our mistakes can help us grow and avoid repeating the same errors. So, what do you think about the Adobali saga? Can you see any parallels in your own life or business? How would you handle such a high-stakes situation? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. 
and let's continue the conversation. And there you have it, folks. The jaw dropping story of the billion dollar UBS loss and Quiku Adobe's rogue trading scandal. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Until next time, stay financially savvy.